He's gone, isn't he? Oh, they are the same people. I knew it. I knew it. <gasps> Did you guys see that? Who was that? Who was that? Did you guys see who... There was someone standing right here just now. Thimbleweed Park. Honestly, I love this game. I love this game. It's so interesting. Oh yeah, we were here with the... I think it's this one? Yeah. We were going to go into the coroner's office, right? Let's open up this door. Oh, that scared me. Howdy who! I'm bit. the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future who! I swear, if he starts doing that talk again, I'm going to... These are the latest in crime fighting computers made by Pillowtronics Inc. You guys see this these feet is all though? Probably pretty advanced, uh, even for the these green ass feet. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, who Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go. Again. Yo, why is she so serious all the time? Any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> Yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. If he starts doing that Aroni rubbish again, I'm gonna. Or Arena, or whatever it's called. Wait, tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. Tell us about the Fingertron. Ugh, Fingertron Facetron. That's just not. Aren't you the Sheriff Arena? Wait, this guy's the. Sh Aren't you the Sheriff Arena? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas of who's in a pot of who. Plus, the sheriff has that annoying areno he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, a who. Sure, whatever. Oh, so you don't do areno, but you do a who, okay. Uh, let's ask him about the Bloodtron 3000. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Fair enough. Uh, tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Arena, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from Arino. the murder weapon on fingerprint tape and it will do a match of who. He just said Areno, you're the sheriff, you fraud. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess, the Face Areno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Yeah, you're not a good liar, my friend. <laughs> you're just not. Did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Uh, let's ask him about that. Did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. Wait, four? No doubt of who about it. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> hey, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, a who? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. Yeah, very futuristic. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff. Wow. Okay, find the murder weapon. Uh, fingerprint the murder weapon. Get finger Tron report. Find ID for the victim in the hotel. Get face Tron report. We have so much to do, guys. Oh my goodness. Okay. I want to go here for a second because these toes. I can't even walk up to the toes. Can I pick up a book on a bookshelf? No, I don't want to pick that up. Oh, why don't you, man? How about I look at it? Lots of medical books there. <laughs> Thank you for that explanation. I'm not putting my face in there. Uh -huh. 
Okay, we're gonna go back to the sheriff's office. Gotta open this now. I forgot, I can use the D-pad, guys. I forgot. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully, the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Areno computers. Why don't... Why doesn't the girl stay at the coroner's and then I stay here and then we actually see if there's two different people because... This is looking like the same guy. You're also the coroner, right? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, 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 Areno. Yeah, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as Pizzerino's in a Potterino. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ah he adds to everything. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Areno. Oh, I'm going to lose it. Um, what else do you know about this? Uh, let's ask him about this. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, sir, Areno. It's all state-of-the-art computer Renos from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. You, I mean, the coroner, said something about the Arrestron? Yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction Areno. Every detail of Reno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right. Uh, sorry, Reno. I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy of Reno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% of Reno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer of Reno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. What? Who is Chuck? Who is that? Chuck? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Reno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Areno again. Yo, can I just shoot this guy, please? Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Yo, this lady's always in the mood for some reason. Um, do you got, you know, you got. Oh wait, hold on. Let's see what's down here. Nothing but a cell. How about we look at it? What does he say about that? Look at the cell, my dude. It's closed. Oh, thank you for the analysis. We gotta open. I want to go see if the coroner's there because. If he's there, then that means there's two separate people. But if not, the dude was like, where's he going? Where are you go Where are you going? I didn't do that. Stay right here. There you go. He's gone, isn't he? Oh, they are the same people. I knew it. I knew it. <gasps> Did you guys see that? Who was that? Who was that? Did you guys see who... There was someone standing right here just now. No, I can't even go back. You guys have to rewind that for me because I swear there was someone standing right here just now. What? Or am I just seeing things? Maybe I'm just seeing... I don't know, but check it for me because... I could have swore I just saw this dude. Oh, these lot again. Great. Great, 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 great. What did? No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Slight leak, yeah. Uh. What caused the leak? Well, the hydrotron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC67. 
Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. Great. The signals. Can I pick this up? I'll just take the wrench. Don't touch our wrench, Tron 3000. Only someone like me with the proper training can handle it. Um, so I'm not allowed the wrench? I guess not. Can I, I can't go through that, can I? Oh, I cannot. How about I look at this? Look, dude, look at the sign. It says, after 34 years of serving the tri Thimbleweed County area, we had to close our doors. We should have listened to Chuck. Transistors are a dead end path. Tubes are the future. Thank you, our loyal customers. Uh, we need to go find the murder weapon first of all. Fingerprint the murder weapon. No, we need to find it first. Let's actually go on a little search. What's this? That's the bank. Flower store. Diner. Well, she wanted me to go diner, that was it. Well, hello. Dude, Welcome to go. the S and D diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? What is this guy cooking back there? Look, there's so much flames, bro. <laughs> what are you cooking? Uh, I thought the show was kind of a weird arena. <laughs> What's up with this town? Most of the story that no, I want to ask you this. I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much. Just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. Huh? You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. Why is Dave crazy? We're the feds. You can trust us. What else do you know? Okay, honey. But you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Flashback. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup, a clown nose, oh, find my joke book. I'm him. Put on my clown nose, get my uh -uh joke book back, get my clown fro looking great. Apply my awesome clown makeup, go on stage and insult the out of some idiots. Okay then, so his job is basically rubbish. Uh, clown nose, clown nose, clown nose. Can I pick it up? Pick it up. Pick up clown nose. There you go. Then we're gonna use it, I guess. Can I use, is there a use button? There's a use button. There you go. Ouch! That's tight, but it'll have to do! Clap! Okay, uh, joke book. Where is his joke? Is it? Whoa, why is that thing just tilting when. Oh my god, do you live in a caravan or what? You guys see this tilting? That's a stable house, isn't it? Uh, we're gonna look at this. It's an IOU. Oh, okay. Hi, Carney Joe. It's an IOU. Ransom the f clown lost a thousand dollars to me, Carney Joe, oh. and I will hold his joke book hostage until I get paid. Oh, so he has my joke book. So I can't get that then. So go see the Carney Joe. Go see Carney Joe about getting my joke book back. So I actually have to go to this dude and get. Wait, is there anything else to do here first of all? Uh, clown fro, clown makeup. Then get on stage, okay. Can we leave? That's a mirror, not even. Oh, the door's here. I'm an idiot. Ransom, I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. 
I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. And your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did you get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as... It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. Uh, Should have been a dentist. You. Okay, so we need to look for one dude because he has my joke book. I don't know where we can... We go this way? No, we cannot. Who the hell? Can we talk to him? Ah. Oh, let's talk to this dude. Oh, we cannot, never mind. I don't have time to leave the circus. I have to get ready for my act. I thought we had to go find a dude. Backstage entrance, clown hat. Do I, is that mine? I don't wear hats. Oh, okay, all right. I have a clown nose, but I just look like a drunk. Ugh, my hair is a mess, and I'm not a clown without my white face makeup and red mouth. My hair is all frizzy, and I'm not wearing my special ransom clown makeup. I can't go on like this. Dude, where is your Get clown your makeup then? Together, clown. Uh, okay, hair gel. There you go. We're gonna pick it up and use it. There you go. Oh, my clown fro looks great now. With the lipstick. There you go. Makeup. I'm gonna pick that up as well. I don't want to oh, pick that it. up. You gotta be so precise with this look. There you go. Now there's the face I love. Are we good now? Can you? I know we need his joke book, don't we? Um. Okay, let's go find it. Wait, what's this? Swear jar. Lol. It's my ransom the clown swear jar with a hundred and thirty-eight bucks in it. Wow. Stupendous traveling circus. Let's go into the. Action. I can't walk in through the main entrance like a tuna-headed pleb. I'm Ransom the Clown. I need to make my. Is this Try this? your skill. Oh, this is to do with my joke book. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Try your. He is too far away. You got my money, clowny? That's Ransom the Clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money, Ransom the asswipe clown. 1,000 clams and you're not getting your joke book back. Eh, search your right for playing the duckies. <laughs> look at this one. I need my joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. I told you before. You ain't getting it till I get the 1,000 bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f*** am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark! You are putting a squeeze on me. Not my problem. For goodness, how am I supposed to get it back? So, uh, how's the old ball and chain and kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the 12 kids. Tw but they still cries themselves to sleep every night after that. This guy just said 12 them. kids. How many kids do you say you have? I have 12 kids. What? Why? Oh, uh, nothing. What? Give me my joke book, face. I told you before. You ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f*** am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting a squeeze on me. I don't know, Ransom the Asswipe Clown. Maybe it's in your hidden safe. So, okay. You am out of here. How am I supposed to get a thousand plus 138 interest? Get one thought. Oh wow, for Canary Joe. Where am I supposed to get that from? Uh, step right up. Popcorn stand. Uh, can we use it? 
It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd in the big top. Oh, is this? Can you give me money? Oh no, that's a customer. Never mind. Oh, you, 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 you. Yes, come here. Can we talk to him? No, we cannot. I can't walk in through the main entrance like a tuna-headed pleb. Uh, well, okay, I can give him some money for my swear jar. Let me pick that up. Pick up swear jar. I just take the big bucks. There we go. Win a fine leather jacket. You got my money, rancid the ass white clown. I have your money. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, here's your money. Now where's my junk buck? Uh, wait, are you messing with me? That's only 138 bucks in interest. Where's the grand you owe me? Yeah, thought you'd settle for less. Uh, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, yeah? Well, I choose to hang on to your joke book till I get the full 1138 bucks. Now, beggar off. Oh, great. Come on over. Where am I supposed to find a thousand dollars? I still can't talk to this dude. Yeah, go yourself. Uh, okay, so he just fully swears at him for no reason. I bet. <laughs> um, I don't know. Can I walk into someone else's? Apparently not. So I'm so broke. Am I gonna get money? Shiny trophies? Can I pick these up? I glued them to the table so no one can steal them. Wow. Wow. Uh, what's this note say? Notes. Where's the note? It's right there. What the hell is this? The number of hmm. The number of trailers parked outside my door, including mine. The number of steps going up to my bed. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Why? It says, need help playing Thimbleweed Park? Call the fully automated Hintron 3000, trademark, at 4468. What the? So this game is just going to continue to break the full fool like it's nothing. What else can I pick up up here? Life life. Better oh. leave it be. Not that. I'm trying to pick up this. Let it go. There you go. It's my lawyer's business card. Brent oh, Bailiwick JD. Legal problems? We'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. So nothing in my fridge. Fair enough. Microwave? This dude is broke as hell. Where am I supposed to get money from then? This is honestly so baffling. Empty. Um, I don't think it's not. It's not even gonna let me select anything else. Can I use this? I'm not a wannabe pirate. You'll never get me to climb into one of those. I can't go on stage without my joke book. Oh, I might forget my best lines without it. How am I supposed to get your joke book back? We got prizes. One second. Let me try to talk to this guy again. I ain't guaranteed to hit something. You got my money ransom, the ass white clown. I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you f loan shark. You are putting this. I don't know, ransom the asswipe clock. Wow, okay. Um, 
I'm just going to end it here, guys, because I need to figure out what I need to do. I have no clue. So I'm going to have to like play it ahead maybe five minutes to figure out what I need to do and then record the rest. So catch you guys on the next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Appreciate you guys. Much love. Peace. Thank you.